Hey guys, it's Adam from Densmore Design to Build. I'm going to show you our newest feature at our Quebec Street property. We're looking at the usability of um, our property at Quebec Street, and this old doorway in our kitchen is the only access to the basement that we had. We started measuring up appliances because we need to get a new washing machine downstairs. The old opening was about two and a half inches too narrow. So you can see that the old owners had, uh, this door used to swing out on the left hand. They'd actually cut the jam out from here down and had ripped it out. So in the process of us re-trimming, we started looking at it and thinking, boy, if we ever have to service an appliance or heaven forbid our uh, water heater or our furnace ever needs to be serviced, this doorway is always going to be too small. When we were looking at options to make this more usable entrance to the basement, we uh, explored the option of replacing just the door. You're about 80 bucks in material to simply get a new door or a new jam. The issue being it doesn't match any of the rest of the doors in the house. We are 30 bucks in jam stock to be able to make a wider opening. Reused all the original casing in the house. And then we've got this flat bar that runs side to side to mount our track onto. This door we simply made longer. I added the block onto the bottom of it. We're about 160 bucks in material to get the track system itself. And the rest is paint. Like, this door functions great, gives us enough access to get into the basement, still retains the character of the original door, original handle, uh, we were able to make into a, a dummy handle, uh, so that it, it still carries all the same character, and, you know, it looks great, but most importantly, it makes an extremely serviceable entrance for us to get down into the basement. There's no point in putting all this work into trimming this opening out, putting a new swinging door in, you still have to rip the door out every time you have to put a new appliance into the basement. You're not going to show another creep tape, right?